Welcome to our New Tech Systems tutorial series. In this video, I will be demonstrating our job issue feature. So here I'm going to show a demonstration on our job issue function. First, we're going to show a little bit of the functionality of the buttons visible on the screen here. Both of these buttons can be prompted so we can actually open specific jobs and operations very easily by selecting it that way. But we can also just scan barcodes throughout this entire process just to emphasize that both are effective options so you can see the flexibility of the software. In this example, we are going to select the job button and open the list that we have inside. Now the device is showing the user which jobs that they need to work on for today. And then from here, the user can simply select the job that they're going to work on and move forward with that specific task. There is also the option where if it's labeled, a user can just scan the job and operation barcodes and move forward with completing the task that way. But again, just remember that you can also click on these buttons up here to select from the job list if there's multiple tasks out there. So now from here, it moves us into the actual job issue where we have to go and grab specific items for the job and operation. As you can see, it gives the item in a little bit of description. We have the required quantity and the remaining quantity currently out there on the floor. Again, this is all updated in real time through viewpoint and into sightline, so we know the quantity that we have out there and that we'll need to go and grab for this order. Also shown on this screen here is the suggested location that they will use to grab the items from. Well, what we're going to do first is we're going to show the flexibility of the software in terms of the different ways a user can select and prompt specific items that would need to be issued for this job. I show this just to give a little bit of additional insight on the extent of the capabilities of what I'm demonstrating here. So, from the list shown, the user has the flexibility to go and grab any of these items that they want to in whatever order that they desire. Or if you would like to have it designed to be a little bit more restrictive, we can program the software so that a user can only work in the order that you have instructed them to. And there's benefits to that, because if you happen to know a more efficient way of gathering these items, you can restrict that prompt list down and set it to be completed in that desired order. But if a specific sequence isn't necessary for the job's completion, the user can just select any of these items in any order that they choose. But in this example, we are going to select item AL10,000 and we know that we need 240 units. First, we're going to prompt the location here to see if we have any other potential sites that might contain the items we're looking for. So we do have other available locations in this example. On this screen, the locations are listed here on the left. In the middle are the remaining quantities in each of those locations, and then on the right hand side are the rankings of each location set up in Sightline for you. We know that we need 240 units, so we're going to use location 01812 to go and grab all 240 that are available as seen on the device. But if the user chooses, they can actually go and grab individual parts from multiple of these locations, all while the sites are kept up to date in the back end. This is all updated in real time as the system immediately recognizes we're removing items for this job. Now we're going to go over to this location 01812, and this is where we can scan just to validate we're operating in the correct location. We're also going to scan to verify that we are grabbing the correct item. If it is lot controlled, we're going to scan the lot number. But if it is not lock controlled, that would just be a skipped step. And then lastly, we're going to scan or type in the item quantity that we are taking from that location. From there, the job issue is officially complete. Sightline is updated in real time again, and as you can see, the screen automatically goes down to that very next item that we need to go grab for this task. You'll continue to do the same process over and over until all items have been issued to that job and operation. Then finally, the device goes back to displaying that main screen you saw at the very beginning that just displayed the prompt buttons to begin the job and operation. That concludes this New Tech Systems tutorial on our job issue feature. Thank you for watching.